James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is July 13th, 2023, 7.30 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. We've had more spiking in our electromagnetic field, which probably indicates we've had more spiking in our Schumann residence. These spikes don't look necessarily very high, but it looks like they do go up to at least 200 hertz and maybe over that. Let's see what that equates to with our Schumann residence. That started at about 2200 UTC. We're not going to go over what is causing this, although I think it is the atmosphere collapsing. But we will see that at 2200, when we saw that small problem with our electromagnetic shield, it turned over to actually this in our Schumann resonance. Look at those geophones up on top. And these spikes are basically off the charts at 105 hertz. It looks like they lasted for right around an hour and a half. For real-time data, jump over to the six-day comparison, always up to date, where none of the other models are. We can see that we're spiking again off the charts. You can see that we had a period of no activity here, but that has changed here, i.e. as soon as the 14th started UTC time. We were looking at about an hour and a half and then a lull and then we started again here. We have 20, 21, and 22 here almost up to real time. We can see here with the amplitudes we had some activity around 20 UTC time and then it got much more busy around 2200 UTC time and it looks like it lasted exactly like we said about an hour and a half but it also looks like it's spiking again here at the end. Please note. Heading over to CERN's Large Hydron Collider, we see that both beams are at full capacity. They're almost to 7,000 GeV, equaling that 15 TeV, or very close to the maximum of the new machine that was built, the upgraded machine. But we don't have instantaneous luminosity, at least showing on the home page here. Looking at the area of Italy that actually occupies our modeling station, we can see that there are some storms, but they don't look like they're lightning storms that are in the area here. So this could or could not be another agitator, but it won't be the cause. It'll be the agitator. The cause will be the atmosphere collapsing per the pole shift. Now, as we can see here, and from another chart, we're in negative territory with our BZ, and now it's pointing more towards the north. So I guess the Schumann residence might clear up soon. Although I do want to show you guys, while we had those spikes, we were again in negative territory with our magnetometers, and we are trying to head back up into the positive. We'll see what happens. So we've seen an hour and a half of spiking. It looks like we're starting to spike again. God bless you and yours. Let me know how this makes you feel. Is it physical? Is it psychological? And is it positive or negative? Share, subscribe. Always remember, anything is possible in Bizarro World.